Hello and welcome to The Rooftop, the home of good news worth shouting about. It's where we share positive stories about issues that matter and campaigns that make a difference. I'm pleased to say that we are back after an extended break. My name's Ian Morton and this is Rooftop TV. Past 12 months have had a significant impact on the mental health of many people. A lot of us, I'm sure, are looking forward to finally ditching Zoom, being with loved ones, friends, and maybe even work colleagues again in person. This week, we're featuring two events supporting the mental health of young people and a couple of personal and heartwarming stories. First up is a charity bake-off for young people in need. Mental health activist Megan Loder is hosting a workshop in aid of Hampshire-based charity Youth Options. Megan's story is incredibly inspiring and it's a great example of what could emerge from the adversity that we can sometimes face in life. Following a battle against depression, Megan founded a podcast called The Posy Pod, supporting those who are facing similar challenges to what Megan did. Megan also runs a cake making business with her sister and on the 21st of March, she'll be hosting a workshop on how to bake the perfect cake and answering questions about mental well-being and positive thinking during the pandemic. Anyone who buys a ticket before the 12th of March will receive a baking pack and a recipe card in time for the workshop. You'll also have a chance to win a baking themes prize. Proceeds from the ticket sales will be used to raise funds to help vulnerable, and disadvantaged children and young people. Continuing the theme of mental wellbeing, a council in London is teaming up with local rap artists to host an online concert to raise awareness of the issues facing young people during the pandemic. The event will be headlined by MOBO winner, Governor B, and will include rap performances alongside gospel, spoken word poetry, and education on mental health for young people in Havering. Other performers include the rapper Nick Brewer, who's also a patron of the charity Anxiety UK. The organisers told Rooftop they hope the event will help to encourage open and honest conversations about our mental health challenges during these times. The event is called Positivity Breeds Possibility. Great title. And the hashtag is PBP2021. Our last feature this week looks at a touching story of one man's fundraising campaign in memory of his late brother. Chris Woodhouse sadly lost his brother John to a sudden cardiac arrest last October. In memory of his loss, Chris started an appeal to raise money for the Red Sky Foundation, which is a charity in the northeast of England supporting those with heart issues and their families. Thanks to the brilliant support of his local community in his hometown of Bold in South Tyneside, Chris has raised £5,000. And this money has so far enabled the charity to install four life saving defibrillators in the area. The success of the campaign has inspired Chris to organise an annual sponsored walk with the defibrillators acting as marker points along the trail. What a fantastic story. Well, that's all we've got time for this week. You can find out more about today's stories and all the other positive news this week on our website, therooftop.news and on Facebook and Instagram at news from the rooftop. And of course, on Twitter at news from rooftop. And as always, if you've got a story that you want us to shout about from the rooftop, please email us. You can send it to editor at the rooftop.news. Really excited to announce as well, we're going to be launching a new podcast very soon. But in the meantime, I'm Ian Morton and this is The Rooftop. It's the home of good news worth shouting about. Thanks for watching. Stay well in these times and we'll see you next time. Thank you.